Hey, beautiful people, it's your girl Shakara Daye, and I am back with a message. So, today is Friday, June 30th, 2023. I had to think about it for a little bit. Um, so I'm just coming through with an energy update with some signs and messages with the regular flowing and growing. And this is going to be a quick message because I'm going somewhere. So, I just wanted to get on here. Which, these be spur in the moment. So, when I decide, I just be like, oh, okay, yeah, I could do a message. Because I just feel led to randomly. And I was um, called to get this deck. And this is my starseed deck. But I call it my ancestral deck. And so I feel like it's a um, ancestral message trying to come through. So we're going to get into that. And then we are in the energy of the full moon that's happening on June 3rd. So that's coming in quick. And I feel like today is just, it's weird. It's weird energy. It's feel weird. I really had to really pull myself together not to be in a funk not to be in a like down nasty type of feeling like i don't know it's just feel heavy is the best way i can describe it so if you feeling like this or you just feeling a little off give yourself grace give yourself time really hone in on your energy cleanse and clear um take a meditation shower really put forth that self-care in any way that you deem as you taking care of yourself put some time into it take your time with it because um this energy can you know a full moons of releasing it could be heavy it could be chaotic it could have you wanting to be chaotic like wanting to lose your cool on people people losing their cool on you so just be mindful of the energy and just remember that it's gonna be okay because you declare and decree that it's gonna be okay and so take your time wherever you're going uh, wherever you at take your time there's no rush slow down don't speed um just really be mindful all right this energy just like i said it just feels yucky a loud car could be significant that's the second loud car that has went by um white cars and red cars are significant and birds are significant like they are acting weird and i don't know if i'm the only one that's noticing this like they are damn near just real comfortable with being close to you or just flocking to you whether they be in the field on the ground or in the trees just watching i don't like that energy but they just it's just how they fly in, how they land in, where they be at, what they doing. It's just really been catching my attention. So birds are significant. Um, yeah. Call your energy back because you might be feeling anxious. You, you might be feeling uh, the onset of an anxiety attack and in a good way to not let that happen. Get out your mind, get in your body, get outside, ground yourself. Like I said, take a med meditation shower, get near water. Could help somebody. Um, I would say do a meditation, <laughs> but I'm kind of feeling like mm, that ain't the good route to do. I, um, I caught myself doing a meditation on a YouTube video and yeah i ain't sleep too well and i notice that when i do those type of meditations anyway um that i don't sleep well i don't i don't know if it just activates my mind in a new way and so i don't get restful sleep like i usually do and so i don't like that for myself because I don't play with my sleep um but for some it could be a way to really calm yourself and to 
um, get out your mind and to focus on being present. Being present is significant as well. Just really hone in on what it is that you need in this moment and do it without delay. So we're going to get started on the reading. So the full moon is June 3rd, like I mentioned, and that will be in Capricorn. And full moons, we release, we want to let go. And 444 is significance, protection, stability. Something is happening where you need to protect yourself, protect your energy. Self-defense classes have been um, brought into my viewpoint. So you could be taking some self-defense classes or you need to. Um, what I picked my phone up for, I was about to look up something. When is July 3rd? July 3rd is on Monday. So, again, that's a lot of energy with that. Monday have a high tendency to be real emotional because the Monday is ruled by the moon. Moon is emotions. That is also cancer energy. We are in cancer season. So, it's a lot of emotions with this moon. I can already feel it. Um, and then with Capricorn, Capricorn is an earth sign, so definite emphasis on grounding yourself and being grounded. Don't let nobody pull you out of your character and have you in a space that you don't usually be in. Like, it is important and imperative that you protect your energy, especially this weekend. The weekend also has a tendency to have a lot of things going on. So, yeah, July 3rd is significant. July 4th is significant. Wherever you go to celebrate, uh, make sure that you are keeping your head on a swivel. Don't let your guard down too much. Like, yes, if that's what you choose to do to celebrate, celebrate and have a good time, be in the moment, to be with your family, all of that good stuff. But also be mindful of the energy. That's it, that's all, okay? Um. So yeah, we are gonna get into that and see what's, what's, what this full moon all about, what it is that we need to release, what it is that is coming forward and this is the second time i've seen this card when i cut the deck which is crazy so um karmic relationships is definitely um being highlighted this week as well and then on the bottom um of the deck is water your garden nourishment body care tenderness rest like you some people are being called to rest and some people are being called to action to do this karmic work of releasing and letting go um and then karmic relationships is so orion orion energy polarity soul growth conflict so it's a lot of growth going on so you might be feeling uncomfortable you might be feeling like just just miserable energy just you know like the hot summer air um that makes you uncomfortable that just makes you want to get in the shower every 10 seconds because you're sweating up a storm it's hot the air ain't doing enough the fan ain't doing enough so it's just giving the energy of yeah you just need to release a lot of things whether that is physical um emotionally spiritually every area of your life is being worked on and um especially karmic relationships they are falling they are getting it's a it's a cleanse going on if you don't know by now it's a cleanse going on and it's just the two two the polarity energy it's just two different things the separation the thing that's gonna have you really seeing the true character of people the true colors of people and it's gonna have you in the energy of i'm on two different timelines two different planets two different situations two different people two different things okay um so yeah, and, and actually before we get into this, I wanted to share the songs that might have some extra messages in there for you. So the song um, that I woke up with that was channeling through was All I Do by Sleepy Wonder. And when I looked at the, um, the, the cover of the album or whatever, it's hotter than July. So that's significant for somebody. So July is significant for someone. Um, but yeah, that was a channeled song that I just 
kept on playing all i do is think about you um so that song can have an extra message in there so listen to that um and then i shuffled the song seeing what the energy is what the energy is reading for the session going bad featuring drake by meek mill came on first and it was just saying keep on shuffle so um i shuffled three times for 33 so today is the 30th so three times um and then crazy love came on which that song is just i love it this, this is probably one of my favorite love songs um crazy love by brian mcknight he says specific things that it just be like, oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. Like the energy in the song is beautiful. Um, and then the last shuffle was um, Put a Date on It featuring Lil Baby by Yo Gotti. So listen to them songs. And of course, um, if I remember or feel like it, <laughs> I'm going to put it in the description box down below when I finish this read. So you can have um, the list of songs that are significant for this read today and the extra messages, extra signs, all of that good stuff is going to be in the de description box down below. So make sure that you're checking it. And specifically, again, for this um, Water Your Garden, also remember to be in your garden like tend to your garden like yo yo your grass a little like yellow and it needs some water so water your grass and that could be phys figuratively and spiritually like it's time to nurture and water you so that you growing so that you growing so that you fulfilled that you overflowing like we in the season that you need to be focused on and giving from your access that you don't even got to worry about your cups running dry anymore because you are overflowing and you just giving off of your access like let's get into it okay because uh no longer are we giving from a place of barren are we giving from a place of force are we giving from a place where we have to decide okay well am i giving you my last drop or am i giving myself my last drop no 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 no. that ain't even gonna be a question no more it's just gonna be i got it to give because this is my access this is this is overflow this is running over and i can give it because i got it in multiple cups it's overflowing so of course you can have this because i don't already took care of myself mm -hmm, that's getting juice. so um come through spirit right. what do we need to know in this full moon and capricorn energy what's the message of the day what is it that we need to know for our highest and greatest good going into the weekend going into the day going into the new month like july is the second half of the year and so we just want to plant seeds and continue to plant seeds of nourishment of overflow of just everything we need and more just coming to us with ease okay so let's see what spirit got for us today i'll take that one more we're gonna work with threes today since it's the 30th and nines could be significant because six plus three is nine and that's completions that's endings a lot of endings are happening and it's just like you just need to get out the way you just need to get out your own way you need to get out the spirit way you need to get out your ancestors way and let them do what they gonna do they just giving the energy of we is tired of yo just i don't want that i don't i don't i don't pay attention to what you do want then let's get into that energy like pay more attention to how you can have solutions how you can add to the goodness and the gladness that god is trying to bring into your life okay so the the bottom of the deck is well and orca elders so well and orca could be significant black and white could be significant the ocean water again heavy water um share your song frequency of sound deep diving 
And like I said, <laughs> with that meditation that I did last night, maybe that was a bad idea. So definitely be mindful of the frequencies that you're allowing in your life. Um, because it could have you all messed up or off key or just that wasn't the right frequency to be in. And now you got to clean up. Now you got to draw it back in, draw it back together. So this is definitely frequencies are being emitted it's been solar flares this is a lot going on so just be mindful okay earth posting the post of the mother slow down time and nature what did i say so this is just gonna be confirming it's always confirming and i love that so yeah um Earth is pulsing, Earth is cleansing, Earth is resetting, you are resetting, so give yourself grace. Um, mother is significant, slow down, like, it's, there's no reason to be rushing during this time or at all, like, just allow the slowdown, like, I just feel like someone has just been so stressed out, like, just take a breath, baby, like, come on, just do it right now. It's okay. That phone call can wait. That text can wait. That email can wait. Them people can wait. That job can wait. They can wait. If you're not well, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, everything. If you're not well, you need the you need to cater to that. You need to lay in the field a little bit. Like go touch some grass for real. You see this person? Go lay in the grass. Go go get your mind right because this energy could have you out here like trying to go crazy and um it's 456 456 it's the level up and then sometimes if you you're doing too much you, you could you know tap out like and then have a mental break and you don't want that so take a mental break because you decided to do that okay don't don't force it don't um don't let spirit force you to to do that um because they will they they will force you to sit down and it ain't gonna be pleasant i'm letting you know so you decide okay i'm gonna take a break <laughs> even if it's for an hour even if it's for 15 or 30 minutes give yourself that time deep cellular healing Again, confirmation. You're just going through a rebirth. You're going through a, a time in your life where you just recalibrating. It's resetting. It's just doing something new that you ain't used to, but you got to get used to it because it's new. It's a new season. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. All right. So Arcta, Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. Like you are in a season of deep cellular healing that is just it's just mm, it's all i can say like it leaves you speechless sometimes um but your angels and your spirit guides and your people all around you during this time like you might have been feeling um their presence wash over you at night especially if you lay on your back like you open so you might feel them a presence a presence in the room whatever and they are around you surrounding you because they know this is deep this is tough it's intense so they are around you so none the least you protected you good keep going then we have star keeper cosmic ancestor see the light by staying grounded <laughs> oh, i just love that i say it before i see it and then i see it that's just a word for you right there what i be saying it is it's, it's spiritual before it's physical so i don't be needing these cards I'm feeling it. I'm witnessing it in the flesh right now. The signs and the synchronicities. And I speak it before I see it in the cards. So this just lets you know this is confirmation. Whatever you've been seeing and picking up, if you tapped in, tap in. And don't be afraid because this is meant to happen to get you to where it is you asked and want to be, okay? So you the star keeper. 
um cosmic ancestors like i said i just been I, I felt pulled to get these cards today um and see what they talking about and yeah your ancestors are near getting near or you need to get near and and call upon them during this time if you get overwhelmed if you get like it's just too intense i don't know what to do if you got questions if you just need some guidance go see your ancestors ask them go to your higher self ask yourself what what's going on what we need what we need and give it to yourself without delay please okay um but yeah by planting these seeds you you're gonna stay grounded in ancestral love in the frequency of healing in the frequency of you well taken care of okay so don't um don't forget that it's, it's all working out and if y'all hear my stomach growling that is a shame but baby it is growling loud um but yeah uh pay attention to your cravings and what you want and don't want to listen to your body okay um who knows so we need to know in this season and session of this full moon and capricorn that's coming up like let us know with the energy read please thank you for your love and energy and support in this time because baby look when i tell you yeah we, we need the support god we we need the clarity god we need to at least be tapped in and, and tuned in to what's going on okay just let us know soon because baby look <laughs> it's it's getting intense the transformation is happening though this big big um big signs around transformation as well yep you're on a journey um that song is coming through what is it i'm on a rocket ship wait what is it zooming through the sky little line sign mm-hmm it's just like otherworldly type of vibes otherworldly energy and it's just coming through um that's divine masculine in the reverse so again with this two energies that are trying to come through one is divine and one is not you're going to be tested with the things the people the places that you used to entertain please keep moving forward please say no to your past please lock the door shut the door lock the door and really move forward because it's nothing that's even appealing in your past like it's just it's just no for me just say no okay and and don't feel bad about it because they only come in with dreams and illusions they still holding back so eh, do you want to keep on dealing with that okay like i said the karmic relationships are clearing they're falling like y'all y'all in two different worlds now and if you are trying to run and chase to get to the other world where they at, it's not going to happen. Because you have another connection that is for you coming in. A magnetic connection. So you in a time of reflection. Like like I said, get out your head and in your body. Um because you've been doing enough standing and tired you're tired of standing on being this just a real ass motherfucker by yourself like you're not gonna have to do that anymore you are coming across someone that is going to match your frequency that is going to match your love that is going to match your likeness okay 
but first you gotta pass the test of not going back to them same motherfuckers that you used to like that you used to you know go after but someone is watching you i've been getting heavy signs of that as well and um it's like unclear who it is you might have an idea of who it is it could be both these energies the one that's you know into you for real and, and like you and um got the same mindset and, and everything like that they just trying to see when they come in and then it's the old energy that's still watching you still want to see what you up to monitoring spirits and flies are significant and all of that annoying thing and i just got real hot so yeah it, it might be coming in hot both energies that so they gonna want to come in and prove to you that they ain't they ain't you know um playing around so tupac could be significant at gemini i think it's open but yeah, wish fulfillment, and that's confirmation. One of them is wish fulfillment, and one of them is not. So release that contract, release it, and let it go. What else? We need to confirm the energy, and then we're going to get out of here, because I did say this was going to be a short reading, because I got somewhere to go. Um, prayer is significant. Like, I've been seeing a lot of churches go in, um, with, uh-uh, I want you to drive. I, um, been seeing a lot of churches do, like, 12-hour, um, prayer. So, prayer is significant, like, praying without ceasing to, um, definitely give yourself protection your family everyone pertaining to you so it's definitely time to like i said like stay protected for sure okay and to confirm the energy yep like i said we have cycles, completion, change. Butterflies are significant. So this is a very changing time in your life. And then we have chemistry and passion. And the chemistry is in yellow, solar plexus energy. Then this other card, blue, throat chakra is heavy, um, root chakra. And then we have trust divine time that is blue again. Throat chakra energy is heavy. So some uni communication is coming in, trusting in yourself and divine timing. And then we got messages, travel, communication on the bottom of the deck. So that's just um, confirming everything. Someone might be at a distance. Somebody might be really... Um, working on their self-esteem self-worth is a masculine energy and like i said like it's up to you you gotta decide are you gonna go back or are you going to move forward like it, it's it's an easy decision if you already know what what karmic cycles you've been been dealing with the, these people that ain't been having no growth or nothing summer is significant as well so yeah and now my nose want to run so that's just confirmation again all right so there's that of course i'm come back um and go deeper as well into the um the what you call it the full moon energy but we got to get get out of out of here oh and clarity came out too. I didn't see that. So yeah, your intuition is sh popping, or you need to pay attention to the energy. 
that is all around you and what's going on. All of that good stuff. Okay. So yeah, self-care. Take care of yourself. Yeah. 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 That that part. Alright. Until next time. Peace.